Stampers, welcome to another Rubber Redneck video tutorial. I'm going to be demonstrating how to make this fun little Bright Blossoms little mini postcard. Here is the front view and then when you flip it over, here's the back side where you would write your message. You want to cut one piece of Pacific Point cardstock at three and a half by three and a half, then cut one piece of Whisper White cardstock at three and a quarter by three and a quarter, then cut one piece of Tangerine Tango cardstock at three inches by three inches. Run the Tangerine Tango cardstock through the Big Shot with the Argyle embossing folder. Once you have the cardstock embossed, then you're going to glue these three pieces together. So just run some glue on the back. I'm using the multi-purpose mono glue. And then just touch the Tangerine Tango to the Whisper White in the center, and then you're going to glue the Whisper White to the Pacific Point. Then you want to use the two and a half inch circle punch to punch out a piece of Whisper White cardstock. Then you're going to take the stamp from Bright Blossoms and get in Lucky Limeade and stamp onto the Whisper White circle. Then take the stamp from Bright Blossoms again and get in Real Red and stamp onto the little green leaves here. Then you're going to glue the two and a half inch circle to the Tangerine Tangle cardstock and you want to put it in the center of that Tangerine Tango cardstock. Then you want to cut one piece of Summer Smooches Designer Series paper and you want the red polka dot pattern. You want to cut this at a half an inch by three and a half and then once you have that piece of designer paper cut then you're going to notch out just one side. So I just take a pair of scissors that I use on paper only, cut up from the end of the designer paper to the center to create like a triangle and then you've notched out the one end there. Then you want to cut one piece of Summer Smooch's designer paper in the daffodil pattern and you want to cut this at a half an inch by three and a quarter. Again you're going to notch out the one end And then once you have those notched out, you're ready to glue them to your little postcard here. So you want to put the liquid glue on the back. And then you're going to put the red designer paper down here on the bottom. And you just want to line up the edge with the Pacific Point cardstock and just put it on the bottom of the Tangerine Tango cardstock there. And then you're going to glue the yellow pattern of the Summer Smooches designer paper on top of the Whisper White circle. Again, you just want to line up the edge and you're going to slightly overlap that the real red pattern here. Then you want to cut about two and three quarter inches of quarter inch Pacific Point stitched ribbon. Then you want to take the stamp from Fabulous Phrases, ink it in Tangerine Tango and stamp, stamp it onto a piece of Whisper White cardstock. Punch it out with the Curly Label Punch using part of that punch and apply some glue onto the back and then place that over here on your left side overlapping the designer paper, the circle and the Tangerine Tango cardstock. And then you're going to take that ribbon that you cut and you want to use a glue dot on each end of the ribbon. So stick the glue dot onto the ribbon and then you're going to line up the straight edge overlapping the bottom of the curly label punch and line up the edge with the edge of the Pacific Point cardstock and then just place that ribbon right down the center of the designer paper. Now to finish it off I took a piece of Summer Smooches designer paper and I used the Tangerine Tango pattern. I used the Itty Bitty Shapes Punch Pack. We're going to punch out a little flower out of the Summer Smooches designer paper. And then you want one of the little, little uh, bitty buttons that's in the same shape as the punch which is a little flower image here. And then you're going to just use some glue dots to attach all this. So place a glue dot onto the back of the designer paper and then place that down over here on top of the ribbon. 
Place a glue dot onto the button and place the button on top of the paper, on top of the Summer Smooch's designer paper. And then to hide your glue dot on the button, take and make a bow out of the white baker's twine. And you're gonna use another glue dot to attach this to the button. So just roll that glue dot in the center, then place that little white baker's twine bow right in the center. And then to finish it off, I added some Jules Basic Rhinestones along the edge of the circle, of the Whisper White circle there towards the top. And then that completes our little t tutorial for the Bright Blossoms mini postcard. Thank you for watching.